to be discussing the y-intercepts on the graph shown below. As we can see, each line represents a different moving object. The slope of object A is shown. As we can see here, the slope of object A can be calculated by using the equation the change in y over the change in x. The change in y in this instance is 100 meters minus 20 meters divided by the change in x which is shown in front of you which is 8.0 seconds minus 0, 0.0 seconds. As we do the calculations, we can see that 100 meters minus 20 meters gives us 80 meters divided by 8 seconds minus 0 seconds which gives us 8 seconds. So altogether, the change in y over the change of x for the slope of object A is 10 meters per second. Now we can look at the slope of object B. The change in y over the change in x, our two variables for y is 50 meters minus negative 20 meters. Our change in x is 10 seconds minus 0 seconds. Due to the negative in front of the 20 meters, we add 50 meters plus 20 meters, which as we can see, gives us 70 meters. And for the change in x, we need to minus 0 from 10 seconds. So 10 minus 0 gives us 10 seconds. 70 meters divided by 10 seconds is going to equal 7 meters per second. As we can see, the y-intercepts on the graph, we can tell that each line represents a different moving object. We can notice that both of the intercepts, when comparing the different calculated slopes, there are two points chosen for each. The two points chosen for slope A are 100, and 8, and 20, and 0. The changes found within the variables y and x is shown in red. There are also two points chosen for slope b, 50 and 10, as well as 20 and 0. These changes are found within the variables of y and x, which are shown on the screen in blue.